ladies and gentlemen, femboys and e-girls, welcome to the PG-13 version of America's Favorite Sound. We got three of them, boys. With a pair of scissors. With a pair of scissors. <laughs> Vicky's got big fancy nails. I love it. So, welcome back to the Nictorious Podcast. Uh, this is season two, technically. Wow, yeah, obviously. Unintentionally yeah. planned that way, but... If hey, welcome to season two, guys. <laughs> it works, it works. So, yeah, it's been a while. Um, how long has it been since we recorded? I well, think the last episode we put up was the one I put up with David. Yeah, that was it. So, yeah, because we we recorded another one, but we were too We were wrong. trashed and we were tired and it just wasn't that... It didn't sound very fun. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Uh, I know. I, I should know. I was there. But, uh, so yeah, we're back to season two. It's been about two months, actually. Oh, yeah, and today we have a very special, special. PG-13 guest. Yeah. Guest, would you like to introduce yourself? Hey. I am. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> See, we set up the sound so that she would come out clearly, and then she's like, cool, I'm ready, and we start, and she's like, yeah. It's like when she talks on what <laughs> her Seriously. She, talk, she talks a lot of smack when she's alone, but as soon as you're like, hey, say something, she's like, <laughs> right, Luna? Seriously, stop. <laughs> okay, Luna. Today's what? podcast is uh, in a Luna interview with Luna. Yes. Our guest, Luna. Did you just pour sparkling water into wine? <laughs> I want to taste it. Is it so that Luna can drink it? No, <laughs> I We all saw that in slow motion. <laughs> that, was, that was perfect. I'm just like, we're going to interview Luna. What the hell is that? I think that I need to get drunk for this. So I'm going to get wasted. So, Luna, what is your favorite video game? Well, it's not really my favorite. I'll answer that for you. It's Five Nights at Freddy's, guys. <laughs> I like your <laughs> favorite. I'm kidding, Luna. What is it? Um, like my favorite favorite game. Yeah. Like the one what's What's your favorite video game, and why is it Five Nights at Freddy's? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your favorite game? Like any game. Yes, any, any game, game. Any game. My hero academia. Um, my hero academia. Uh, What's the title? Of it? I know there's a subtitle. My hero, hero, my hero, Justice. I think all's justice is that the one? I can't. I, I know which one you're talking. It's the one, guys. It's that arena fighter yeah. for my hero. <laughs> and yes, Luna loves it. She plays with the computer character that's not doing anything, and she runs in circles. It's fun to watch. No, when she beat me, <laughs> she beats me. Totally. She beat Vicky. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. So, but so she Vic, beat me. Luna is now the alpha dog in the home dynamic. Of the Salmaron household. <laughs> so Luna gets to call the shots. That's why we're recording this at midnight here in Austin, and Luna, that's why she's not in bed. She decided it's not bedtime. Well, it's Thanksgiving week also. Uh, yeah, don't say that. It's funnier if, she, if you think she uh, earned yeah. the right to stay up. <laughs> no. So Luna, what do you like about that game? I really like that it's like the real language. Japanese? Yes. There you go. Uh, <laughs> you like that it's in Japanese? It's pretty intense. And that's it? So I could learn. Are you learning Japanese? Say something in Japanese. Konnichiwa. You know it's Japanese. I can't really I can't hate on that. Hello. She's got, that's hello. It is hello. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to freeze, but she's like, I got something for she's you. Like, sushi boys. <laughs> 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 Nissan, Honda, Toyota. <laughs> Start listing off Japanese brands. <laughs> Like, but like that bit in uh, Scary Movie 5. Oh, she's yeah, yeah. Like, and she's just like, oh, yeah, Sushi, Toyota, Honda. And the guy's like, what are you saying to me? How dare you? So, Luna, what else do you like about that video game? Give us a give us a comprehensive breakdown of that game and then give us a, a grading, 1 out of 10, at the end of it. Um, I really like, I give it a rate of 100. Out of 10? Yes. You heard it here first, folks. The game is two years old. 10. One, <laughs> a, one out of 100 out of 10. Perfect. It's a hundred on Rotten Tomatoes. No, no. that doesn't. That's for movies. Doesn't work <laughs> like that. Movie, is it? Is it just movies? Oh, it must be just movies. Yeah. Yeah. IMDb also has games. I think. Uh, well, there's also this other game that Luna is obsessed with. Yes. That she doesn't. That she doesn't stop talking about it mm -hmm. every single day. Luna, up till yesterday, Luna has consumed <laughs> almost 
every kind of media about <laughs> YouTube this. YouTube video. Yeah, every YouTube video, books. every song, and books, and like... Musicals? Become, musicals. <laughs> everything about this series, except the games. Luna, what's the game? Yeah, I wish. I don't like the game. No, you what's know, the name? What's, what's the, name the name of the thing you're obsessed with? Freddy Fazbear's Diner. Freddy Fazbear's Diner. So, which is the name of the restaurant in Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Exactly. So last night we spent, well, I spent four dollars to get the game on Switch. <laughs> but wait, you huh? have to find out why she likes it. Yeah. Well, yeah. why do you like it so much? Where did you yeah, first well, let's find try it? it? Yeah. yeah. It what? just popped in, and I really like. It. Well, like in your you... brain, like you woke up one day. No, and you're no, like, <laughs> no. So I was in my computer. Mm-hmm. Wait, I mean on my tablet. Uh huh. She's got a know? PC. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, I was kidding. I was on my tablet, and then I was watching some videos, mm-hmm. and then I clicked in the in the little house where you go like back into the mm-hmm. home. The home. Yes, page. the home page, and and then I saw that little music video, little music video about FNAF, and I put it. At, What's FNAF? It's, it's because I don't remember. I don't remember how it just. It, well, it sounds like you just saw a video, and oh, we're like, enough. and we're like, this is cool, and you just kept looking up more stuff about it, right? I think so because I don't remember. How long have you been into this game? Because it sounds like this is like ancient history to you. You're like, ah, it was decades <laughs> ago. Time's coming um, past, friend. Well, it was a while ago. Really? I think it was like, like on December last. Year. Oh I think God. so. I Almost think a so. year. Almost a year that, of she this is, obsession. that she has been watching these videos. Or I, I think it was on the beginning of the year. Well, I she did an okay. investigation also. Oh, right? yes. She she has done research and proved to us that children have gone missing. And right, Five Nights at Freddy is real. It's real. He's here right now in the room. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> But and what have you found? What have you found? Tell yeah. us of your research. Give us I, your thesis. Okay, so I put on on Google or like the little the yeah, search Google. bar. Yeah, yeah, Google. The Google. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, but okay. Mm-hmm. And I put it in there, and then I put like on the Google reviews. We saw it. We saw it. Um. We we searched for the. The, Wait, the location. Yes, yeah. exactly. Then we saw, saw the, the reviews, and one they of them real. said, "One of them said, um, the pizza is good, but two of my children went missing." <laughs> Pretty real. I, I like that somebody felt felt the need <laughs> to review the pizza, the pizza, but also review like that their kids went missing. Yeah. <laughs> like, but, uh, instead of just telling the legit. cops. Could you imagine your kids go missing and you're like fill out the police report and you're crying and like you spend all day on the phone with relatives just being like, please, if you have anything, please let us know. We're so scared. And then you sit down, you have a moment alone to process your thoughts and you're like, Whew. pizza was pretty good though. Gotta be <laughs> 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 but also, Google reviews are like legit, right? So when I was yes. discussing the internet with Luna, yes. Um, We talked about how we could verify information using Google. So mm-hmm. so this proves my point, of course, that if it was a Google review, it's real. It's real. Do you want to hear something funny about Google reviews, Luna? What? So here in Austin, where I, I live now, by the way, for anyone that's, that needs to be caught up on this, I got a hey. job in Austin. So I live in Austin. I got a new job. I came up here, blah, 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 whatever. Anyway. <laughs> The funny yeah. thing is that I've been using GPS nonstop because I'm still learning the city, still learning stuff. Uh, the funny thing about that that I have learned that sometimes you mistype an address and it's like one number over from wherever you need to go. And sometimes that one number over is like a house. And sometimes you can leave a review on just any random address. So for fun, I've been reviewing people's houses for no reason. No. I just go to someone's house and I leave a Google review on their house and I'm just Amazing like... grandma. Yeah, no, I'm just like <laughs> takes really loud dumps. How smells like and just no, <laughs> just dumb random stuff. Imagine if you're hurting people from buying their houses. Shoot, I didn't think <laughs> no, 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 I can't be because sometimes I'm the only person leaving a review. It's Why just would you review a house? Exactly. Why is that even an option? 
It I is a good option. Because there are some businesses that are homes. Nick has a beard Dang. now. Some dude, some random. Yeah, I have a beard now. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> some random and dude who's running and a mustache. And a mustache. Some random dude who's running like a, a finance business out of his home. And one day gets a Google alert. He got a review that was just like some guy. Some guy said I take thunder dumps. What is this? Why is this? <laughs> they love it. Why, why did he do that? Anyways. Anyway, sorry, Luna. Google reviews. So we hear about FNF. That's why I brought that up, by the way. The Google reviews because I leave fake ones. So how real? Do you think those were? It's because there was three uh-huh. Freddy oh, Fazbear's yeah. diners. I don't uh-huh. even know why. Yeah. So Maybe you, the first you one cannot was disprove my theory, Nick, because that's how you search for information. Yes. Exactly. With the by reviews. Yes. By reviews. <laughs> oh. I wanted to laugh and spit it out. Okay. <laughs> Who would have imagined there were Google reviews <laughs> that they were not real for the diner, Nick? <laughs> I know, and we found out that it's in Avon, Florida. That's true. Mm-hmm. No, hold on. Is this they a, did they actually open up like a burger place or a pizza place and just call it that? It is there. It is there. Ah. Yeah, we could give you proof right now. I don't know now. what to think about this. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> it was let's scary. Go, I'll Google, I'll, we well, let's found it. it. Yeah, yeah. And what else do you find? It? Mm-hmm. Keep, so, keep talking. I'll, I'll find it. I'll okay. Myself. So we also found out that there's Two commercials. I don't know which one is the fake one and the real one, but I think, I think the first one I saw was the fake one, and then the other one that I saw was the real one. Mm. Because here's a fun fact about Freddy Fazbear's Diner. So under the stage, there is actually a control room where you can control the animatronics. Oh, that's true. how they move, but not at night. Of course. They move by uh, themselves. I thought, I thought, oh, okay. I was going to say, I thought the whole point was that they do move at night. But you're saying at night they move without the controls. Exactly. Ah, so cool. there's a control room under the stage. Okay. There's another control room, but I don't remember where it is. Well, we don't know mm-hmm. who moved it. Right? Exactly. Which is the biggest mistake. Yeah. Well, not so, the biggest, biggest So, mistake. Luna, we were talking about, like, what did you want it to be when you grow up? And you had two options. An animatronic bear? No. No. <laughs> no, no. There were some good ones. Go okay. What do you I want have to two, two of them. Okay. Yeah. Being an arts and crafts teacher or an investigator of Freddy Fazbear's. Yeah. Pretty good. He's good. Pretty legit, if you ask me. Those are, I mean, I think those, those are like the only two safest uh, careers besides YouTuber. <laughs> And career fisherman. And I think it also proves the passion that Luna has behind finding out the truth about mm-hmm. Friday Nights at Freddy. Is that what it's called? This is, yes. Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay. So imagine Sorry. that. You want to do that when you grow up? Mm-hmm. That's pretty like. I mean, I mean, so I t- want both jobs. So I don't know. You could do one. both. I told you. You, you, you could. Yeah, you could. Do I, I know, jobs. but which one do I do first? Either one. There's a there's a show. What's it called? Taps or something. There's a, a ghost hunter show, where yeah. in the in the daytime they're plumbers. Oh really? Yeah. They, uh, but all of their plumbing equipment and their ghost hunting equipment in the is in the same day. van. <laughs> which is funny. But yeah, they do both. Yeah. So you could do both. One day you have your your arts stuff in your car, in and then on the other wall of your van a it's just a I guess like a creepy hand cam with night vision and then an yeah, EMF reader tools. and a gun because I mean why would you go into a place with robots without a gun mm-hmm. exactly exactly yeah. or a crossbow for vampires no like uh, here's a one way to kill an animatronic if they're real say that word one more time animatronic oh okay go ahead <laughs> your um, mom usually gets words wrong like four times <laughs> in a row you nailed it good job Luna. hell yeah <laughs> Because she says I'm a neat whatever. Say animatronic. Say it. it. Hey guys, welcome back to the new, uh, the old segment of the podcast. Animatronic. Oh, she got it right. A little bit. It's not fun if she gets it right. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so how do we kill them? I'm I'm really worried. How do we beat them? It's because wait, wait. It's not like when they're like robots, like endoskeletons. No, 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 no. So when they're like people inside because there are like two stuff you could put on so Mm -hmm. you the suits are made like for men like anybody yeah men men 
I like how you you look like you were gonna. Okay, you look like you were gonna gesture at me with men and then stop. Like you were like like. Yeah. Men, you know, like men, like not like not men, you. Like men. Like not real men, real men, all their men. You know, men that look like they can fill out an animatronic suit, not like Nick. <laughs> no, no, I mean like grown ups. The Rock, like <laughs> John Cena, like grown ups, not like. A... You're not a grown up. Oh, that's good. So, I got some okay. time left. So when it's like purple guy, okay, purple guy. If purple guy is inside that suit, but if you don't know, just do it to anyone, but don't do it by purpose. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, okay. So what did we watch yesterday? Did they answer the question? Mm. So, so do I shoot it? Do I burn it? <laughs> no, no. So he, over here, when there's somebody inside, like purple guy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, there's like a little switch over here. Mm-hmm. It makes you snap in your skin, spring lock. Like mm-hmm. your skin or their skin? No, like. <laughs> Stabbed Vicky in the So neck. if there's a real human being inside, you kill them with the switch. Yeah, there's a little turn. You uh-huh. turn it so the spring looks like. So just pretend this is your skin, right? So and the spring locks are here. They can oh. go through. Ah, uh, so it locks you into the suit. Yes, exactly. Uh. What if there's no one inside the suit? How do I kill it? Uh, yeah, good question. Just burn it. Okay. Burn no it. shooting. <laughs> No, no. What about thoughts and prayers? Did those help? Uh, I don't know. Okay, we'll try. We'll try them another time. Yeah, we'll work on that. <laughs> well, I don't think try. that would win. We'll, we'll wait, agree. wait. No, here's another fact you cannot do. So, if you get on, and then the spirits of the kids get out. So, like, if you kill the animatronic, like the Sue, of course mm-hmm. they're not gonna die because their souls are inside the suit. Uh-huh. They could come out of the suit. Uh huh. So. If you put on a suit so they think you're an animatronic, uh-huh. um, so maybe they're like gonna do the switch mm-hmm. and you'll die. Uh-huh. So, so the, this has taken a year, right? Of investigation, careful reading, reading, research, reading. Research. Did Documents. you read anything? Oh, I have my comic book. Ah, yes. My FNF comic book. Basically the Bible of yes. paranormal investigation. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> we are Jimmy. missing the other one, right? Yeah, she's mm. missing a few. The peer Not re- one. She's the... missing like three. Oh, the comic. I thought she was missing like the peer review. No, study. I'm missing yeah. two. Yeah, they're the other chapters of the, the I think Bible. they're co- mm. comics or chapters. Okay. Volumes is what they're called. Volumes. What they're... did we watch yesterday? Or a couple oh, days yes. ago, yeah. What did we it watch? was yesterday, last night. It, it was? was yeah. It oh was yeah, yesterday. okay, yeah. Okay. We were watching an eighth and a musical that it was yes. pretty funny. With renowned YouTuber Markiplier, Matt Pat, and Nate Wants to Battle? I don't remember that. I don't know. Yeah, those are like the three main dudes. But the they And were, no, there was another guy that I used to name, I can't remember. Except, <laughs> except that they were like big like big animatronics like mm-hmm. robots they were actually puppets yes they it were hand so puppets cute. instead of that yes they were like this i can't do it do it <laughs> like do this. it do it closer to the microphone so the viewers can see yes like that exactly <laughs> <laughs> she was all about it too she's like exactly like this like if you hold it like good how job many time, how many times have you watched that musical um, three times. Yeah, I watch it. She three has times. watched an hour that and a half. Life. I watch it with you. You watch it with me. So four. Okay. Two, four. Two hours worth of... But you had oh. seen it before you you showed it to me. The first time I saw it was when I was doing like a little theater for my little toys. Okay. Mm-hmm. My mama saw me in. Me made fun of you? No. <laughs> Pointed and laughed? No. <laughs> no, that's bad news. But it oh. does have some catchy tunes. Maybe we'll see it at the Tonys. Or oh, yeah. yeah, the Tony. Lin Manuel Miranda will direct the next. Maybe Broadway we could post. Maybe we could post a link. Okay. Yeah, we should yeah, post we a link. Post the I'll link. post a link if Markiplier agrees to pay me. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so, but okay. No, he'll he'll make me pay. But them. I think our our, <laughs> our listeners will benefit from watching the FNF. Musical. Yes, actually, that's yes. pretty good. There's actually <laughs> half an hour. There's actually two. No. Three musicals, of Are course. You, they're what? like Cobbs and Webs, and they're this another one, but I don't remember. Oh, so they're not all 
Five Nights at Freddy's, they're different ones, but they're like the same kind of thing. Yes. I mean, they're okay. still the same puppets. Oh. It's a story with three videos. Oh. I don't know if it's I was going to say it's good content, well, but now I don't want to put it. people through that. I don't yeah, know. no, no, no. Just one. Watch <laughs> just one. Just watch one. Just watch one. But watch, right one, uh, one, watch one each day. So let's ask the mom. Mm. Vicky, how many times do you think Luna mentions FNAF? Everything. A day? Mm. Since before the ten rule we times. put... Ten times? Yes. Well, here's here's the rule we ten put into times. place yes. as of yesterday. Oh, yes. and here's the reason we put this rule into place. Uh, so Luna, having consumed all of these videos and read the comic books and done all this research in search of the true answer to the Five Nights at Freddy's mystery, she's never actually played any of the games. <laughs> so last night, which is where the game, which is where the series started. No. Yeah. yeah. So last I night, mention it. I paid to get the game online on the Switch, and we had Luna play. She made it through like three nights. Yeah, no, two nights. No, you made it through three. Made it to three. You got to three. Yeah. You were on the fourth night, and you gave up. Gave like up. I was too scared. Like a but baby. that's the thing. If you're gonna I was go frozen, I was frozen. But if you're gonna go. Search for fi- for Freddy and figure out this mystery. You can't be as scared. You cannot I mean, feel fear. Re- I mean, if it's real life, I'm just gonna burn that thing. It's gonna, gonna burn run. it. It's gonna go in there with a flamethrower and be like, "Hey, what's up, ghost?" <laughs> <laughs> like the one in the musical. Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah. you okay. Monster. Okay. <laughs> Monster. Exactly. Like in the musical, you're just gonna go in there with a flamethrower and just kill any dude in there in a suit. It is Even like it's, a real diner, and then you're it's, killing everybody it's just inside. Denny's. It's a Denny's, and someone's holding a teddy bear. <laughs> like, like on fire. Actually, I have a foxy plushie right now. You do? I do, and it's very cute. It's over there. It's staring at me. And it's funny that it's over there, because when we started the podcast, it was over there. <gasps> I didn't notice. Mm-hmm. No, it was in my room. Are you sure? Yeah, it was in yeah. your room. But, but now it's in my room. It walked. It walked. Because we're not looking at the camera. Uh, no, no. Oh, yeah, that's a funny thing about Luna playing that game. Every time she looks <laughs> at the camera, she mashes the button. So the, if you guys have ever played the game, you push a button to bring up a tablet with cameras, and she mashed it, so it was just like flying up into her character's face and dropping down and coming up and dropping down. It was the best. And we got so we just bad. Kept getting, we just kept getting frustrated. Yes, thank God. We're like, hold the button. <laughs> Luna's like, help, me, help me! Help me! <laughs> <laughs> no she, one is helping me! And she kept locking both doors and just sitting there and be like, what do I do? And I'm like, unlock the doors, you're gonna use the battery. And she's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> All of us were like, close ah! <laughs> That's great. So the new rule is. The if new she rule. Talks, yes. If she brings up Five Nights yeah. at Freddy's during the day, she has to play it. Every time she brings it up, she has to play through one more night. One night. One night. One night. But here's the thing. It's not just the one game, Luna. There's like Eight seven nine. games now. Yeah, there's a lot. No, really? actually, there's, actually, here's another fan fact that's going to come up in 2021. Okay. So there's going to be this um, <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's security breach. I don't think it's going to come up this year, but next year. I feel like I'm getting insider secrets here. Yes. She's like, let me tell you a little something about, <laughs> about this. Freddy Frasbear chain. So uh, we we'll get some this, big plans. So here's a little, uh, a little sneak peek from that. Okay. Game. So there's this lady that's like a security mm-hmm. girl at night, and then she's like a killer at day. Oh During the day, God. it's like the most difficult time to be a killer. <laughs> it's brightly lit. Everyone can see you. Tika likes it. <laughs> She's that powerful Nick. Come on. Oh and her name is Vanny. Vanny. Is she's she a... like a white, like she's in a suit, like a cloth suit, like this, mm-hmm. like Nick's clothes. Like, like he's my white pants. too. What a uh, he's key. It's me. I'm Vanny. <laughs> Vanny. Vanny. V a n n y. That's what I said. Vanny. Vanny. Okay, Vanny. You're Vanny. Oh, thank you. Okay, so what does she do? She runs people over the van. No. Well, then why call her Vanny? <laughs> I don't know. This How does she murder people? It's Scott. It's Scott. Scottish? No. Is it? Wow. Oh, how did you do that? <laughs> just balanced right can sideways and Luna's like. <gasps> Not <Natalia. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> just Luna. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it 
it subconsciously. I'm sorry. Anyway, Luna, <laughs> tell us more about Vanny. So, but just a little bit. It's a sneak peek. Ah, uh, a little bit sneak peek. Yes. Don't don't give away too much. Don't give us a big peek. <laughs> um, I think I do know two names of the animatronics. Okay. Um, Glam Rock Freddy and Jesse. No, Jessica. I think. So uh, no, Roxanne. 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 Glam Rock Freddy sounds like a Mortal Kombat DLC character. Glam Rock. Glam Rock. Sounds like a Freddy Mercury. Because it's just Freddy. He has changed his skin. It's just Freddy Fazbear, but he's got like a big mustache and a muscle shirt <laughs> and glitter. <laughs> glitter everywhere. Actually, glitter. I he throws glitter in your actually, <laughs> actually, I could show you a picture. Of oh no, no, don't don't sneak us too much. We can only we can no. only handle so much before yeah, we start we spoiling it. We don't people. know when to see it. We can't bust it out. Yes. Oh, Just she's doing it. it anyway. All right. We'll cut this. Okay. I'm just kidding. So, Did you bring it up yet, Luna? You got it yet? I want Come on, glitter. I you it. Glitter? <laughs> glitter Fazbear. So if we, if we want to know more about Five Nights at Freddy, feel free to send a message, and Luna will answer any questions. Professor Luna will fill you in. Um, oh my so, God, he looks fancy. I know, he looks fancy. Yes, show the, show the uh, phone to the microphone so all the viewers wait. can see it. Just choose one, it's quick. I thought she'd get her twice. This one. <laughs> Can you see it, guys? It looks the same. <laughs> it looks exactly the same. No, he has glitter he and has. an earring. Ah, uh, yeah, oh, oh. Like he has those red. Stuff. I'll be honest. I was expecting Natalia's cr- uh, Halloween costume <laughs> from like a few years ago, <laughs> like the big spiky leather jacket and, and the, <laughs> the the glasses with yeah, chains dangling. But that's what I was picturing. <laughs> well, you know what, Luna? I think it's time for us to take a quick break. Uh, we'll probably put you to bed. And and thank you, you for being on the show. Yes, yeah, thank you, thank you so Professor much. Luna, for coming on. And, I love uh, it. Luna, say bye to your audience members. Bye bye. Like, when are you gonna be again here? Um, maybe next time I come. Okay. Next Fabulous. time she drives up from uh, El Paso. Okay. After after we've de lost her and made sure she doesn't bring any of the El Paso COVID nonsense up here. Okay, beautiful. Say bye bye. 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 Ready for the ultimate mobile gaming experience? With a perfect 5 out of 5 on the App Store and Google Play, over 5 billion downloads, and a EULA agreement that'll take a whole team of lawyers to get you out of, the ultimate mobile gaming experience is here. Join the billions of users already playing Warrior Clan of Legends Frontier EX Dragon Adventure Final Saga The Ultimate Secret Phantom Dungeon of Shadows Part 2 Hero Boogaloo Get ready to grind for hours just to have a common piece of armor for a character you haven't unlocked yet. How do you unlock characters? Complete challenges and find the rare rainbow currency which is completely different from the ruby currency used for equipment which is completely different from artifacts that you get with the sapphire currency, which is completely different from the emerald currency that you use for hero traits, which is uh, different from stats. uh. Or you can check out the PvP arena, where your skills are put to the test, but only against users who've been playing since the open beta and have an entire team of max level quadruple S-tier heroes. Like seriously, why do I keep getting ranked against those fuckers? God damn it! Uh, <clears throat> and don't forget the weekly raid events that you won't be able to participate in until you've reached level 75 or some shit and have to spend precious resources on just to get the chance to deal 800 damage to a world raid boss that has like 99 trillion fucking health before he one shots your dumpy ass. Oh, and best of all, it's completely free. Unless you want to win. Guys, boys, boys, guys, guys, boys. Guys, Bice. guys, but buys and goys, <laughs> buys, buys and goys. Guess what we had today. Look, I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, hogs, dogs, chicken, turkeys, rat. You name it. Look, <laughs> I didn't know about that part. You name it. <laughs> we were just watching that video like all day. <laughs> It reminded me of that Mike Epps bit where he's like this comedian who has like, he's like, kids are on everything today. Syrup, painkillers, cigarettes, weed, crack, crack. And it's just, except it's like the healthy crack version. Crack okay. That's because not crack, the healthy version. The Thanksgiving meal is healthier um, than drugs? I think so. Oh, okay, yes. Yes, that's much. Okay, I'll open your wine for you. Uh, let me go open it. I got you. Hold on. 
You're welcome. Oh, okay. So oh, manly. But, but some Chianti. Chianti? How do you pronounce that? Chianti. 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 I used to date a girl named Chianti. Chianti. Yeah, C-H is key. You're putting in soda in it. Well, it tastes pretty good. I don't okay. know. I'm drunk. Damn. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to the podcast, boys. Uh, we took a short break. We put the uh, the special guest the special guest to sleep. So now we are back to our regular late show, late hour programming. Uh, and I guess we have some other topics. We actually have some guest questions. Let me bring that up. We do have a guest question here. Uh, guest question number one. Natalia, are you single? Yep. What? Yes. Yes. What is this? Still single as fuck. <laughs> single, yeah. No one comes under the couch to meet me. I think it's just a gremlin <laughs> name. It's just not a good name <laughs> on my Tinder. <laughs> Nobody Tinder loves stage her. Gremlin and they're just like, what? I don't know. Nah. A Looking turn for up. more of a Tanya or something. <laughs> a, tur- a totally turn up, maybe. Yeah. You should put Baby Yoda. I'm going to put Baby Yoda next time. Baby baby, y- uh, baby Yoda with a J. Look at Tinder. <laughs> Wouldn't it be Baby Yoda? <laughs> baby Koda. Yeah. <laughs> baby Koda. Go <laughs> holy. That's horrible. Yeah. So, uh, today, actually, the reason we played that song, that fun clip at the beginning, is because we are actually recording this on Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving night. So, uh, we, I thought this would be a fun topic to talk about. Let's talk about any <laughs> stories that we've had in Thanksgiving pasts that are just, like, weird or funny. Everyone always says, like, the, the stereotype is that you start arguing with your family members. I do have one story that I think is... Fun, Ooh. not really, but fun. Uh, yes. But let's start Tell with. Us. You want me to start? Oh, well, I don't know. I can start if you guys need to mean... think about yours. <laughs> yeah, spill the tea, Nick. Spill the tea. Okay, so yeah, a couple years ago, a couple years ago, um, we were at my dad's parents' house. Since then, my d- so your grandparents, yeah, but <laughs> specifically on my dad's side. Oh, okay, okay. You so have to specific. Be, yes, so specifically on my dad's side, uh, and. <laughs> It was at the end of the night also, like we were all, like everyone had already eaten, we were just going back, we were just hanging out, um, and somebody decided to turn on the TV just for some background noise while we were all chatting, but they had the brilliant idea of leaving it on Fox News. Of course. Most of my family is Republican, besides me and my brothers, um, and even then we're like, Republican on like one or two views, and that's it. <laughs> like that's it, like guns, like the same yeah. thing, we're just like, ah, guns. I like guns. <laughs> Nobody's gonna take away my Also, gun. weed is scary. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was one of those things. So, uh, and it just so happened that they were talking about like abortion laws at the time. So my parents and my grandparents were all doing the thing where they were talking, but then the TV kind of slowly influenced the conversation. So they were all just like, "I, I just don't understand. I can't believe anybody, yes. anybody <laughs> would murder a poor innocent baby." And I'm Love like. Lord. It's not murder if you trip. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, you want to. No, it was just one of those things where, like, me and my... they, We're not going to change their mind. All of them are over 50. Yeah. And, like, they're pretty set in their ways, which is fine. But me and my brothers are all, like, leaning back really far on the couch. And we're, like, slouching down. We're, like, staring at a very interesting part of paint on the wall. We're like, oh, look at that. Look at that there. corner. That's, that's beautiful. It's with more bread, guys. <laughs> we're, like, watching the dog that's asleep. Like, isn't he so cute? Asleep, not doing anything. Wishing he was in another room. <laughs> <laughs> we're just trying not to bring it up and then my grandma does the hilarious thing it was like i love that you ever what dude you ever watch a talk show where you see the host have to kind of like wrangle control of the audience again my yeah. grandma <laughs> my grandma did that to us where she was just like ah she had her arms up and with her big like moo dress and she was like i would like to hear what the youngest members of our family who are present have to say about this. And it was like, you what? guys. And it was us. It was me, Ethan, and Matthew, my brother. And all of we're like, fuck. We're like covering our face like, no, you know, it's late. We're tired. And then they're just what? like, well, what are we talking about? Like, what? I'm not uh, listening. The, the Olympics? Oh, yeah. Go America. Like, <laughs> in, the, in November? <laughs> I don't know. It could have been Winter Olympics. I actually don't remember what year this was. Oh, maybe. But, yeah, I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, we were just trying to like change the subject. But they're like, no, no. Like, what do you think? What do you think? You know, this and that. And we're like, <laughs> I think Ethan, Ethan did the little underhanded test of like I believe women should have choices and then it was like looking at them like are you really going to argue with women with that choices women yeah. in and the then, room and my grandma was <laughs> the one that argued back who was just like actually we don't deserve choices and we're like oh okay uh, I guess yeah. this is going she didn't say it like that she was just like about certain things not about this and we're like what so it just went on and on what is this certain things and, then, and 
basically Ethan was very like, no, women deserve a choice. It's their body and blah, blah, blah. And if you don't like it, it's, it's not your, not your thing. Not your body. Who cares? Not your choice. Not your whatever. So it's like, fine. That's how most people believe it. Uh, Matthew is a bit more, he's all about facts and research and uh, science. It's just basically evidence. That's the word I was looking for. So he was just like, look, science has proved that there's not even a heartbeat for the first couple of weeks. So you can't even really say it's like alive yet. It's still cells that are building up to something. He's like, I don't consider that alive yet. I think in a very, very early term abortion is fine. And uh, my grandpa said a phrase which feels like the most condescending thing I've ever heard in my life. Where he looked at Matthew and was like, well, let me tell you some science man. And I'm just like, did you just call him science man? <laughs> <laughs> is that, is, oh, that's it's amazing. Like, it's so weird. And then he's like, scientists have discovered that the moment the sperm fertilizes the egg, there is an explosion in the womb. Oh. So it's like Hiroshima when I nut or something like that. It's, <laughs> Watch out, people who are pregnant. Watch it's, out. it's blowing it's wounds bomb. out of your coochie. Oh my god. It was god. horrible. Oh god. It's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. I was like, what? An explosion? Like, I could imagine maybe like a burst of cells or something. Like a table. But explosion <laughs> in the womb. Dude, yeah. I like that. And then like he's that like, image. and what else was an explosion that science backs up so much? The Big Bang. So if you believe in the Big Bang and science, Matthew, young man, then you must believe that at that young moment, thing. that explosion is the creation of life. Therefore, that is conception. And that's why abortion is murder. Which is like, okay, you kind of got an argument there. I see and, the point. And then my brother Matthew was just like, okay, all right. <laughs> and he was just like, okay. <laughs> so no matter what they did, they couldn't yeah, get no you gonna, <laughs> No one's going to change their mind on this. And then they're asking me, they're like, well, Nick, what do you think? And I was like, I totally support murdering babies because no one's expecting that angle uh, yeah no one's expecting and i was like dude oh. totally i'm like have the baby then stomp on its head i don't care like it's not my baby <laughs> not my baby <laughs> i don't care what you do with your weird kids wow Nick. yeah like okay but then that leads into like a whole okay and <laughs> just saying, that leads into some whole other arguments about like what if you know the kid's gonna suffer like you know like say yeah a, a you mom- went deeply into it like after oh that? i yeah a little bit we kept talking but one of the things i argued was just like okay Say the mother really does not want this kid to the point where they're considering abortion. And like, and she's like 100% like, get this kid out of me. I hate children. I don't want it. Get it out. Get it out. And they're like, no, we can't do that because no or whatever. And then she has the kid. And now she has the kid. And they tell her and they're trying to convince her the whole time it's murder to kill a baby. It's murder to get an abortion. And then she's like, I don't care. Kill it. And they're like, no, you have to have it. What's to stop that lady from being like, okay, I had the baby, going home and picking it up by its ankle and just slamming its head into a wall? Nothing. Nothing's going to stop her from doing that. I don't. And then they were, and then my grandma was like, <laughs> Nick's words. Well, yes. Just kidding. No, but they then my grandma. therapist for you after that? <laughs> that's probably why I'm so sad now. No, but um, it's because they didn't call a therapist. But, uh, but then my grandma was like, no, I believe any woman it carries a child to term and you hold that child in your hands for the first time and you will never harm it. No woman will ever do that. And I was like, Casey Anthony happened like two years ago. Like this is very recent at the time. There are so many stories of like women going crazy and drowning their kids or like leaving them in a car with like a hose attached to the exhaust. Oh my like, God. It's horrible. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying it's yeah, cool. But it's like, it happens. It happens. It's uncomfortable, but it happens. This was like a very nice. What was it? Thanksgiving, oh, Christmas, Christmas. Christmas. We Thanksgiving. we we had just, we had just opened our stockings at Christmas. We so were still Christmas eating. was no, done. It, it was Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving. Choose one. Then. It was Thanksgiving. But that was weird. It's like we all did that, and then me and my brothers were like. Okay, we got the horrible conversation out of the way. It's time to go home, right? And we're all done. And then they were like, "Well, anyway, so the yeah, the new wasn't a, it wasn't a president, but they were talking about some other big news story." And they're like, "So cannabis is blah blah blah, causing more deaths in America than any other drug." And me and my brothers immediately were like, "It doesn't, oh." But we didn't say anything. We just like we heard that we heard the story change, and I think all of us separately were like, "We're done." Boy, I'm tired. I got, oh, it's got a long day driving tomorrow. We all got up and. Went to our beds. I'm pretty sure our parents argued. Not even argued. I think they just agreed with each other for the next, like, two hours. You know You know what I mean? I don't know. Never been there. You've never been I in a room care. where everybody agrees, but someone brings up the topic. So instead of a debate, everyone's just like, I think drugs are bad. You're right. I do think drugs are bad. Yeah, they're so bad. They're hor-. And everyone just says yes in a circle. And then it just stops. 
I was trying to get that to happen here. I guess I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Oh, no. No, 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 I'm kidding. I've been in rooms like that. It's just an awkward thing. I mean, but, I, I think I have been in a classroom when you're like, fuck it. Yeah, but Nobody you want everyone. to talk. Yeah. Yeah, but you want everybody to agree in a classroom. <laughs> you want but everyone no, to just be like. Not with my family, no. <laughs> nah, families argue. And I'm like, oh. So actually, I was trying to think while you were telling a story of a time where we fought over a debatable topic or had like a weird crazy story mm. you and vicky or just your family like my family uh, but i think i don't know what do you think um uh, we always me and vicky always played like the double advocate mm-hmm. victoria loves oh, it me Vic- more i i Not usually you. do like you just you just want to run me over the bus Oh, how do you say that? Throw, throw me, me under, under the, the bus. Victoria says I throw her under the bus. Should, which is true. It's but funnier I, the way she said it. Like, you want to run me over in the <laughs> bus. <laughs> throw me under it and then drive over me. <laughs> but to be honest, like, I she just want to eat, purpose. man. I just want to eat. I want to open my presents. Mm-hmm. And like like you said, you're not going to change the <laughs> Yeah. And yeah, I enjoy. Listen. I enjoy having my entire family being against whatever she's going for. So I I know exactly what her arguments are because I am on her side, right? Mm, but I like, but... I put like gas to the fire because <laughs> I present like an argument that will completely destroy hers so or she, support my parents. So she's genuinely playing devil's advocate, and you're you're pretending to be on their side. Yeah, just to mess with I her. just switch sides back That's and forth great. to like light the fire up. That's awesome. No, is that awesome? It's funny. It's not. <laughs> Well, now that I know that... And then at the end, we always conclude with, like, Victoria. Like, we're just having a conversation. Like, you should... Tone Calm it down. down. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm like, <"Fuck!" laughs> Well, you that's do. funny, because I feel like, now that I know that, I think, Vicky, since you're in the conversation, you're still going to get, like, emotional, but the next time I'm there for one of those conversations, I'm going to be looking at you like, I know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting her up and I thought it was just fucking with her. Yeah, and she loves it. Listen me up, and, like, you can join my side. <laughs> And watch her. No, burn. let me be oh. the other side, but like way further. So you be you be far left, I'll be far right. Yeah, and, so yeah. and she's just still in the middle. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, <laughs> pretty fun though. That sounds fun. I'm gonna do it. Next no, time. no, do, no, no, don't do it next time. It's okay. Or I'll you do. will burn. And but at the end, we all drink together. We get wasted with tequila. But we don't get mad. That's a bummer. Like, yeah, your yeah. family gets drunk together. Mine looks at a beer that I'm drinking while oh, I'm no, drinking. Oh, no, no. We're it. Mexicans. We need, we need alcohol. That's true. <laughs> what was the thing I showed you earlier where it was like uh, cities are putting an ordinance where they're like, no shouting or loud music uh, during we, family yeah. get-togethers. Uh, don't eat so much food and limit alcohol. And it's like, oh man, Latinos are just going to jail this year. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> get arrested. I think Latinos are back people. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're, we're... <laughs> Let's not get together, guys. <laughs> There's white people that are just going to be like, we'll all have uh, Sprite Cranberry. We'll listen to some Berry Mandolin. We'll go to bed. We'll listen to some, we'll be our, normal. We'll be normal. We'll some oh, Penny we Loggins. need to put our tree. Christmas tree, right? <laughs> and it's the t- Christmas tree that I have over here. This this foot and a half tall Christmas tree. No, no. That's us. Yeah, because you can't be loud. I don't know. Can Christmas trees be loud? Maybe. Oh, you can put the music, no? Well, Victoria's <laughs> loud. Like, she's just <laughs> laughing and... <laughs> that's it and put her next to the Christmas tree <laughs> she just shows up and you're putting noise <laughs> no but I don't know like you can put the lights but no I yeah. have never heard of a tree we gotta do that then next year we gotta get a Christmas tree and put like little tiny hanging speakers in it <laughs> everywhere I'm sure there's definitely that's been invented there's no way that like Christmas tree do, speakers do, aren't no no we're talking about Christmas trees it reminds me of a story Victoria was telling me <laughs> Well, she wanted like a tree that spins around, uh, right? So, <laughs> and, wait, <laughs> so the image that came to my brain, <laughs> true, is I just like picture this exorcist kind of tree just like going around in circles, just like fast. twenty miles per hour. I don't know why <laughs> a spinning tree. Just... <laughs> no. So I was like, why would you want that? Like, wouldn't you be like hitting everyone? And then later on, Victoria showed me an actual tree. Yeah, that she's was, like, no, like slowly yeah, rotating. It's like, it's yeah, it's like two miles per hour. And I was like, what's wrong with you? It's going to spin slow. Because Adelia was like, well, that's diabolical. And it will break all your ornaments. And I was like, no, it goes freaking slow. It goes like one one second per, what? One mile per second? I don't know. I don't one know, mile though. per second? That's crazy fast. <laughs> that's insane. That's a lot. 
if anyone is in the business of making trees, I want that tree. I want the one that spreads like crazy. Like, no, but you're gonna have. It, you can put it since Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> and then keep it until the end. But you, you have to get like a. <laughs> you need to put gasoline on that. <laughs> yeah, no, oh my god. Like a generator. <laughs> you like a generator. But instead of, like the, <clears throat> instead of the normal arm, instead of like the hook, you have to get like. The end of each branch has like a hole in it, so you can tie it. Oh yeah, trees, but, it's like but they're still just secure. swinging. Around. Imagine you just like come near it and then it will oh slap God. you. I just, got the, I just got the best visual of like a cat trying to jump on the Christmas tree, and it gets caught on the top, and it just spins around for a bit before it gets thrown. Into no, the no, don't like, think cats, think kids. kids? <laughs> like well, Christmas. Kids? But kids can't jump to it. They'll just get close and they'll get hit in the head. But like a no. cat will jump halfway up the tree, claw into it, and then just be like. Just is, like have you off. seen that video of that, uh, the girl that is like in a fun house or mm-hmm. something that is with the rotating wheel and she just grabs and then she goes all the way to the top and then she just falls. <laughs> so I bet kids <laughs> will grab the tree and That's then true. they will not let go <clears throat> until it's too late. I'm and they will. I might grab the tree. I'm one of those guys that gets like in an office chair and just keeps turning around until I get <laughs> one of those idiots. <laughs> I stand up and just like <laughs> after that tree is your amusement park. You just put it in the middle of the That's patio. It. it just feels like the uh, that rotating room at Ripley's Believe It or Not. Oh. If you guys have ever been there, it's a room that's got mirrors in it and it's got uh, just it's got like uh, panels no it's got well yeah a little bit of lights but it's got panels of like colors that are turning clockwise and counterclockwise on each side but when you're walking through it it makes your brain think like that the room's tilting so you start leaning to correct yourself but you just cause yourself to fall over Uh, it's great I I recorded a video of you guys walking through it and I didn't realize until I watched the video after (laughs) that it's so dumb because (laughs) I thought I was like recording this like crazy experience. But you just see two people walking it's and just slow me down. tilting me with the camera. <laughs> you played yourself. It's so lame. But that was one of the my favorite parts of our adventure in San Antonio. That was yes, awesome. Yes, dude. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have done it there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I imagine. So we're both falling as it happens. <laughs> Uh, no, that you have Luna running everywhere. <laughs> Let's do it again. I know it's in the middle of the thing. Speaking of doing it there, uh, what am I talking about? Doing, <laughs> it. <laughs> wow. doing the thing. Yeah, sure, dude. Now, speaking of uh, something of uh, San Antonio, something special happened. Vicky, do you want to break the news or do I? Even though we've been posting about it all day on Facebook. I'm crying. <laughs> I hear not. She's laughing. She's staring. She's chuckling. Do it. What? Uh, you it. proposed to me. I did. And she said no, unfortunately. Yeah, so. I said maybe. I was like, <laughs> okay, give me the ring right now and maybe. We she looked at it for 20 minutes. She pulled out one of those little jeweler's monocles and like looked at it. Yeah, Monopoly. Monopoly guys. <laughs> Monopoly guys. She monocle. called in a guy. like, is this legit? Yeah, yes. I was like, is this legit, Nick? I don't know. It looks like Peter Maybe Piper they, they ring. charged me a legit price for it. But like, yes, over please. a thousand dollars, I hope. Yeah, dude, totally. Like all, all the money I had, all the money I'll ever make will go to paying off the ring. But yeah, boys, <laughs> we're engaged. Uh, and the first time I told Vicky that I was her fiance, she was like, <laughs> yes, "It was awesome, guys." It was cute. I didn't cry. But oh I was happy. God. You didn't cry? She no. didn't cry at all. Oh, it was you? Who it was cried? Me. I was the only one that cried. <laughs> I cried. I thought it was like a sweet moment. And I look at Vicky and Vicky's just like, ha! Ah, like happy, smiling and shit. And I was like, give me some of that smile. I can't. I can't. I'm crying. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you were the baby. <laughs> but it was true. pretty fun. It was fun. Yeah. Um, tell us how you decided to propose, Nick. Okay, so last yeah. year. <laughs> tell us the story. So last year, <laughs> I decided to propose. Uh, and I bought the ring. Actually, Natalia went with me to, to look for it at the mall. They didn't have it. Instead, they kept trying to show me, like, bajillion dollar rings. <laughs> when like, they're no. like, if you want her to say yes, you'll spend this much. And I was like, no, she loves me. I'm pretty sure she'll say yeah. I'm pretty sure I it's mean, not a fact. I want the normal one. <laughs> I was like, Give me the $50 one. Please. It's not $50. <laughs> no, I, yeah, they, didn't even have, they didn't even have I, it. I had to go find it online, which is cool. Uh, so... The plan originally was that when we were set, we were planning to go to Disneyland uh, for New Year's. Yes. Last year. Uh, or, 2019. Uh, 2019 yes. going into 2020. 
Uh, plans changed, and we said we were going to go... We were broke. We were broke. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were go broke. Ahead. Plans changed. Uh, numbers changed. Numbers in our bank account changed. Um, we said spring break. Yeah, we said spring break. So literally, so I was like, okay, I can wait a couple more months. Not a big yeah, deal. Two months, not a big thing. Uh, so I'm literally in my car on my way to Vicky's house with all my luggage and with the, the uh, what's it called, the ring like on top because I'm all like excited. I'm like, it's going to be great. I'm, I've driven away from my house for like 10 minutes and Vicky calls me and she's like, COVID shut down Disneyland. And I was like, fuck. So I get to her house and we're just like, fuck, what do we do? What we're are we gonna crying. Talk about? We're crying and we're like, should we, do we still go to California? Do we, but we decided against it after everything. So I was like, okay, well, I got to find another thing to do. Maybe, maybe this will all blow over soon. <laughs> the lies, the lies. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, basically Natalia was like my counselor during all of this. I was like, your guru. We? My guru. And he was, he wanted to do it like. And then. I, yeah, for a second, I was like, I'll just do it here, like in your living room. And then yeah, she's like, like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, good point. Yeah, like, but, uh, no, no, it's fine. Yeah, so then I'm like, okay, but if I find something nice here in El Paso. And she's like, no, no, Disneyland is like her dream. Do it in Disneyland. So I was like, okay, I'll, we'll do it in Disneyland. Well, we still have hopes of we Disneyland. Still have hopes. <laughs> we still have hopes. And then that went for a couple months. And I think, like, what, uh, J- July rolled around and we were like, okay. Yeah, we need a new plan. Four months went by and we're like, this ain't happening. So I'm like, okay, I'll, we'll plan us another small thing. Maybe if we go camping somewhere pretty or we get it. So we, it, not a real opportunity came up for a while. And then I got offered the job in Austin in September. He was desperate, trust me. He was desperate. Like, he had the ring, like, probably every day. He was just like, about she to talked me down. Pop like, in, like, in your times. kitchen in pajamas or something. She talked me down multiple times. <laughs> And uh, so finally I got this job offer in Austin. It's a lot more money than I was getting at the time. And it was a chance to leave El Paso like I always wanted. So I was like, okay, best idea that I can do right now. Take this job, (laughs) move to Austin, get an apartment, get everything settled, get everything ready up here, which I am pretty much now. Um, And then the first time Vicky comes up by herself or even with Luna or whoever, as soon as the next time Vicky comes up, I'll have some days off. We'll go on a nice date. Uh, and I had this actually. I originally yeah. planned on doing this next month. This is this is uh, Thanksgiving. We were going to do this like in the middle of December, where I had this whole date, two day <laughs> date planned out for us and everything. But then, me and Vicky had been planning it out for so long. I was like, she's gonna. I didn't even think about it that much. But I was like, she's gonna know. She's got to know that it's at least on the table that it's coming. Mm-hmm. You yeah. Know, something. So. They also uh, decided to come up and visit for Thanksgiving, and on the drive up, Natalia was like, "Do it." Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And I was just like, really? And she's like, yes. Well, it's because the topic came up. And yeah. one of the things that she was telling me was like, he better do it like now. I don't know what she was saying. What? Was <laughs> what? Saying? I don't she know. She sounded so desperate. It probably sounded it. Yeah, it, it sounded was desperate. That. So I was laughing inside. And I was like. You're like, I don't know. Do I'm, it now. Do it yeah, now. I think you should do it like today. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they came up. Uh, you guys got here on. Friday. Tuesday, no, Tuesday, no. Monday, Monday. Yeah, Monday you, did, you got here Monday night. Uh, so we, we went out to get dinner. Um, we barely made it. Uh, Tuesday. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, you guys. Oh, yeah. You oh, guys went yeah. and you brought me some. So, yeah, that night we just kind of came back late, uh, went to bed. Next day we woke up. We went around. We did some stuff. I still had to go to work. So um, we ate dinner oh, that yeah. night. That was the night we went to Korea House, which if you're ever in Austin, that place is amazing. Yes. Yes. Um, and then Wednesday, we went to San Antonio. This is the day that we planned it out. No, but you had the idea. You were like, what if we do it in San Antonio? That was the original plan for, yeah. for December also. I was like, I want to take her to the Riverwalk because we both really liked it. And it was beautiful. So I was like, I'll find a place there and we'll do it there. So. Uh, you texted? We, yeah, you texted me? I texted, yeah, yeah, Natalia when she was coming up. And I was like, if we're going to do it, we got to make up a day for San Antonio because that's what I want. That's what I want to do. Mm-hmm. I love Austin. I like San Antonio just a little bit more. So I was like, it's got to be there. So we made the plan, uh, and I was I was talking about it too much the day of. At least Natalia said, and then later Vicky was like, he was, he's always talking about it like that. Yeah. But so. then I told Vicky, I was like, how do I get her to go to San Antonio without mm-hmm. thinking about it? Yeah. So I told her, hey, like we're close to San Antonio, and you always want to go to the Ripley's Museum. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and that was a down. good one, we're because down. I always wanted to go, and nobody took me. Well, we you got tooked. This time. I know. And you got something else. Yes. <laughs> so we, we so went with that. That was our alibi. 
So we woke up. Fake alibi. It was a, it was a good alibi. I don't know what you're talking about. So we it's woke up. Six flags, sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Six flags. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. What? But yeah. Nothing. Yeah. So. Uh, no poorness here. <laughs> no poverty in this marriage. So we, yes. we went to San Antonio. We woke up. We got breakfast. We got. Or. Yeah. We woke up. Got everything ready. Went to get breakfast. Went to San Antonio. Uh, we went to Ripley's first. We checked out the whole place. Then we went to the uh, wax, the wax museum, which was pretty cool. We saw the Alamo too. We saw. Uh, we looked at the Alamo. We, didn't... we touched. It. Yeah, we <laughs> touched a brick wall. Oh, dude! Oh, we never took the picture. We said we wanted to take a picture at the Alamo yes. after we got engaged, or they were gonna be like ah, standing true. in front and be like. Her people murdered hundreds of my people here, but now look at us. <laughs> like some dumb like history that. will come history together. Comes around. <laughs> so that was fun. Uh, but yeah, so we did that, and then we went to go see the uh, 4D movie theater also at Ripley's, which sucks. Yeah, I, I wouldn't go back. There. I mean, it was included. It was included in the. Price, I mean, it's so good it's for like, kids. Sure. Yeah, Lord, I thought I it was going to be more, dude. I didn't. I didn't know it was just like. I think they removed the water. Yeah. yeah oh yeah i was like because when i saw like a splash coming i literally put my hands in front yeah, of my face because i was, like, oh, I was no. like don't spray water at me i don't want this i was like Ugh. but it never happened but uh yeah no i didn't think it was gonna be that short what was it total like 12 minutes 15 maybe like it was like 10, 10 no yeah it's super short i thought because they said the movie so i'm like oh it's gonna be like uh not like star wars at disney but it's gonna be like that kind of length where it's yeah like at least of, like a half like an a hour train, yeah like a fun little story that you get to go on but instead it was just some ra- rats driving in a house and then <laughs> snowman sliding down a hill well, then i loved it well, because of course it's a peter piper it's yeah it's the it peter, was a peter piper, piper game you can use this one we can use that picture to do that yeah yeah the picture that we did take in the alamo Vicky doesn't have a ring there so that's uh, you can photo but it's photoshop it <laughs> but it's photoshop the other it real hand. big it's the other hand Oh, it is? Anyway, yeah. No. No, that's the okay. left hand. <laughs> Natalia is oh, not yeah. well, here. Well, the listeners couldn't have known that. Natalia doesn't know. Well, that is true. Natalia doesn't know from left to right. How you grab that's directions true. from her when she's driving is horrible. She <laughs> will kill you. You too, dude. You don't No, understand. but yes. she will tell you right. And you she, know, do you have any she idea? She's like, oh, no, left. Do you have any idea how many times you <laughs> told me to take a right while pointing left? Uh, I don't know which to follow, your mouth or your hand. My That's good. mouth. I don't, point, I don't point, but I'm just like... <laughs> no, she yeah, just like, says... <laughs> I, I would prefer someone just use their hand and say, that way. Like, that's fine. That way. No, no. Yeah. Right. Well, anyway, let's finish this proposal story for fun. Oh, okay. So, uh, we did all that, and then we decided to go get dinner. Oh, at, we got uh, dinner. We got dinner Rock. at the at Hard Rock uh, Cafe. Which was great. It was awesome. Uh, I bought a souvenir glass. Let's talk about that in a moment. <laughs> so I bought a souvenir glass, and we're walking around. We're looking for something nice. And uh, earlier, I believe, Vicky had pointed out a certain spot that she was like, this place is really pretty. I really to like take this a part. Pic. To take a picture. So we went back a little bit later, and I was like, oh, let's get a picture here, me and you. Uh, and at this point, I had passed off the ring box to Natalia to give to Luna for <laughs> Luna to go up to Vicky and give her the ring box. So, the funny part about that is the ring didn't fit in the ring box. So, Luna gives her just an empty little wooden heart. And I was like, what is this? Yeah, and she opens it and she's like, oh, uh, thanks, Luna. I don't know. She's yeah, like I was like, what do I do this? But then I, I get down on one knee, I tap her, she turns around, and I have the ring in my hand. And I'm like, it didn't fit in the box. And I thought she was going to be like, oh my god, oh my god, it's really happening. Oh my. But instead, she was just like, what? Huh? What? Really? What? Really? Really? Yes. What? And I'm like, I was... <laughs> and all the the video is great because you can barely hear me be like, yeah, no, I'm joking. Yes, of course I'm mad. Like, I got like mad and frustrated, and everyone on Facebook that saw the video was just like, I like the part where Nick gets mad. <laughs> like, I like where Nick broke for a second. Oh yeah, I mean, I think it's just us. That's how we always are. Yeah, but I think the funniest part too is that you were like. I didn't say yes right away because you didn't ask. And I was like, I didn't ask because you kept saying, what? Really? Really? What? Really? Yeah. And I was like, shut up. Like, and I was like, say something. So, and I was like, in my mind, I was like, I just asked? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what if I just stared at you and not asked? Oh, you oh did that God, for actually, like five seconds. No, so I don't know. Because you worked out. Anyway, we're already, we've been past this. So actually, that happened, uh, that happened with, um, that happened with someone else. Oh, okay. no, which hole? Oh, no, not, not me, stupid. Another. <laughs> he called me stupid. <laughs> what the hell? It's okay. I, love I you. see I'm where fine. this is going. <laughs> it's 
been this way forever, though. This is a toxic relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed. Here you go, Nick. Just my eye. <laughs> <laughs> you break it. You cannot break a ring. I never seen some rings break. Really? Uh, yeah. Where? Uh, well, to be fair, it was a. It happens a lot with chefs, actually, because like. You wear your ring while you're working. Even if it's just a band, like you knock it on stuff and, and they break. Oh. So it's not but crazy. But doesn't yeah. cook, so it's fine. I know. <laughs> but I mean, I break well, the stuff. She, she <laughs> made salad for us today. Yes. That's good. Oh, thank you. Well, thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. So, the bag. And oh, the pie. And the pie. Yeah, the she pie, made, yeah. she yeah. made the pie from scratch, to Yes, be fair. yes. Mm-hmm. It was hard. It was pretty hard. I like, know. I didn't know... If you guys like the design that I did for you. Yes. By scratch, I mean she scratched off the H-E-B sticker. No. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you. Excuse me? I'm kidding. We wanted to cook. We had a good time. It was nice. What? Why are you giving me that weird look? Like it was horrible. I was like, I don't have a problem with it. And this oh. is the end of the podcast, oh, wait. guys. I, I just wait, we got uh, This is the end of the relationship. <laughs> Yeah, did we forget to talk about the the glass that I bought? Oh yeah, yes. So I bought the yeah, re- yeah I bought the um, uh, hard rock the souvenir, the, the hard rock the souvenir glass. And we're right when I got it down on one knee and asked the question. I don't remember. I think I was so concerned with like getting it to make it look nice and make the situation pretty and as nice as it could be. I set the bag down or something. I think you put it like behind you or on the desks or something. Yeah, I put it somewhere. I have no memory of it. Yeah, me either. And we, we even yeah. went back and we looked at the video. We're like, can we see where Nick dropped it or something? But nothing. <laughs> no, I think you maybe put it there, like, Possibly. on the floor. So you gave Natalia the so, stuff. Yeah, so I, I, I put it down somewhere. And we went over, we did the thing. And, you know, <laughs> we, she said, yes, we're hugging. And we're crying for, like, well, I'm crying for a little bit. <laughs> we're hugging. It's nice. And I'm then happy. Yeah, and then, like, some random couple walks by. And the dude's like, yeah, man. And we're like, oh, this is cool. This is sweet. We all had a great time. And then as soon as we get all situated, we're like, all right, let's keep on. Let's go around. And then we're looking around and we're like, where's the bag? Where's your souvenir? Someone fucking took the souvenir glass I bought. My $5 souvenir glass. Ew, yeah, it was expensive. My $5 souvenir <laughs> glass. Hey, man, when you're paying for a two-bedroom apartment by yourself, $5 is a lot of money. Is it? Yes. No. Your ring was $5. Oh. And that's the end of the podcast, guys. I love you all. No. <laughs> Thanks for listening. You better return this. Episode one, season two of the Victoria's Podcast. I don't want this anymore. Vicky, do you have anything you would like to say to our lovely listeners for coming back after two months? This better be a over $100 ring, baby. It is. Sweetheart. <laughs> it is. Don't worry, I'm sure of it. <laughs> good, good, good. I, I found the exact same ring, perfect new, 30% off on sale, and she was like, no. No. Oh, yeah. I'm kidding. I didn't. I didn't what? Say, no? no. I don't, think, I don't know what it is. It's a Disney ring. I don't think Disney ever puts rings on sale. No, it's fine. I love it. It's blue. It's fine. That means you gotta buy a new one. Green. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Thank you so much for coming back and listening. We had a lot of fun. We will see you next time. Whenever, whenever we have to next time. Next time. Next time. Yes, next time. Hey, next time. God. Bye. Bye.